Now suppose I wanted to add some footnotes to a large body of text without breaking up the flow of my text. I'm just going to paste some lorem ipsum in here as an example. To add a footnote, all we have to do is open a square bracket like so, and Obsidian very handily closes that bracket for us as well. We insert the caret symbol like so, and then we can put a number one or a word like so. This is just a unique identifier, so Obsidian knows how to pair the footnotes together. So we can put a number one like so. Then I'm going to press enter, and then I'm going to press enter again, otherwise it does not work. You must have at least one line break between your last paragraph and your footnotes. I'm going to just open my square brackets and type in the exact same thing again, caret one. And here's the change. After caret one, we want to put a semicolon. And immediately Obsidian notices that this is a footnote. I'm just going to add some text here, some text here. And now if I go into the preview mode, you'll see that it has added this very handy back button. And this is now a link, which I can click through like so. You can imagine in larger text documents of a thousand or more words that this would start to get very helpful if you're wanting to make comments on things or cite your sources or add any other information without breaking the flow of your text. Let's use one more example with just a word. I'm going to just put this on a new paragraph for the sake of demonstration. Let's do caret word and I'm just going to go to a new line here. Open my square brackets, caret word and semicolon. This is all about that word. And you see there, even though it's the second footnote, it still understands that this reference goes together because of the unique identifier word. And I can jump between them like so. Before I finish this video, I'd just like to mention that there is a plugin called Footnote Shortcuts. It is really handy because it allows you to quickly insert footnotes into your notes and it means that you don't have to type out all the markup all the time. I highly recommend checking that plugin out.